Hey everyone, it's Max here from Vivid Millions. Now I've got an action-packed video for you guys today. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to start a print-on-demand business in 2022. This is for beginners, this is how I, I learned. Now this is with Etsy, and the reason why I wanna focus on Etsy today is because Etsy is amazing with integration, right, in regards to having a printing partner, which we'll also explore today. Uh, Etsy gives you a amazing foundation for a business, so you can start your own business on Etsy. You don't have to make build your own website. It's an amazing marketplace. It has organic traffic, meaning you don't have to market every single product you have, like a website. Think of Etsy as a store in a shopping mall. People are already there, they're looking around, they might pass your store and like your designs and then they'll look further. Uh, when you have a website for a print-on-demand business, for example, like Shopify or Wix, you have to send people there. For example, your store is at the other end of the, of the city, it's on a back street. Some people might know about it through marketing or word of mouth, but generally, there's not a lot of organic traffic, if any. Etsy is an amazing platform. I love Etsy. It's one of the platforms I have found success in very, very little time. So for example, within six months, already getting sales, already getting traction, um, having the opportunity to open multiple stores. And with today, I'm gonna give you guys 40 free listings in your first store with my link below. But anyway, let's get to the gist of it. So guys, I'm gonna show you how to create uh, we're going to focus on a t-shirt. So for example, you want to start a t-shirt business on Etsy. Uh, this this is your go-to video, guys. I'm going to go through everything, complete transparency, every trick, everything you need to do to get one t-shirt loaded on your Etsy store, right? Right, so we're going to design a t-shirt from scratch. I've got an idea in my mind or, uh, that I'm going to put on one of my demo stores. So I've already got a t-shirt in mind. But even if you don't, this is where you come with your creative process. Now, I've just linked my Canva for Beginners tutorial video up above, so have a look now. Um, that's if you don't know how to use Canva or what it is. Basically, Canva is an Australian design platform online. It's on the web. It's free. You also can buy the pro version for t-shirts, guys, and print on demand. Pro version is key. Once again, link below for Canva. All the links below, guys, not only support me, they support you. They get me, they allow me to continue to make these videos, teach you guys what I've learned. I'm a brand new entrepreneur in 2021 and I spent so many hours and time while working in nine to five, trying to find financial freedom, trying to build passive income streams. That's what my channel is all about. And if you like what I'm doing, like, subscribe, keep watching. Right, without further ado, let's get it started. So this is the Canva home screen, canva.com or the link below to support me. Here we go. So first thing I'm going to do is create a design. Now for create a design, um, you can generally click create design and click t-shirt. Um, it'll have templates. But if you click one of these, for example, they'll give you a template, right? But I resize these to fit 4,500 by 5,400 pixels, right? And the reason, oh, need to change that. The reason why I do that is because it fits for... Amazon merch right now Amazon merch is something that I'll talk to you guys about in a later video um, But having all the designs uh, Already fit for that style meaning that you can upload your t-shirt to Etsy as well as merch by Amazon Now merch by Amazon is a little bit trickier a little bit different um, The strategies are different the designs that they should think about a little bit different, but we'll get there The tutorial is coming right now. Let's focus on Etsy guys So 4,500 by 5,400 pixels is your go-to for t-shirts guys Right, so I'm just gonna show you how I would design a t-shirt. Like I said, I have a, um, a design in mind. Um, actually, don't need that. I just need a black background. Great thing with t the, uh, with Canva is that if I want a black t-shirt, I just make the background black, right? I add my text. Now, I had a cool idea for a street culture um, t-shirt, uh, street lightning. Uh, let's expand that out, and then so I can make it fit the t-shirt area so think of it as this black canvas area as your t-shirt right your the main front um i'm gonna use and the thing is with any text or graphic you want it at right at the top of this box here right at the top now with font i kind of want a graffiti style so let's play with some of these like i said with canva you've got all these free fonts plus you've got your pro fonts which will be oh these are all free fantastic even better so i really like that that looks really really straight Street Lightning. Now, if you don't know what Street Lightning is, uh, it's essentially uh, gunfire, right? So uh, gang violence and things like that. Now, I don't, I'm not condoning gang violence at all, but 
basically for terminology and slang and street slang, it just means bullets, gun violence, uh, shooting, uh, things like that. Um, it stems from the 1950s and the mobster era where Chicago Lightning was interpreted as Tommy gunfire, right? So Tommy guns going off and obviously gangs are uh, having a bit of a dispute, right? But I do like the idea of it. It would make a cool t-shirt, I think. Um, not everyone's going to agree with this, but that's fine, uh, simply because a lot of people are very against guns and weapons. But for the sake of this, guys, I'm not, in, I'm not condoning or inspiring anything. I just am showing, uh, essentially, how to make a t-shirt, right? I had this idea in mind. This is what I'm going to do. Um, that is black, so I can't change that. Uh, that's a cool, that's also in black. So I need something that's, I could use a handgun, but I'm kind of more aiming towards something a bit more um, like street. Uh, so for example, could use that. Now one one way you could do it is you have the, see I could change that, the gun colors all to white, but then maybe I'm thinking, let's change, let's see how this looks. So let's see how this looks with some different shades. Street lightning, Does that is that a cool t-shirt? I don't know, uh, maybe I wanna stick to white, actually, um, and then maybe I wanna color this entire AK white, which I can do with just some tweaks. I can even keep some of the colors. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna keep that, right? I like that, I like that, right? It's pretty pretty street, pretty ghetto. Um, like I said, not condoning any violence. It's the sake of, uh, um, I guess, teaching you guys how to make a t-shirt, but this is idea I came up with quickly in my head, and I'm like, for street culture, let's use this as the example. So what's next? I'm gonna download this as a PNG, right? PNG, you've got all these different file types on Canva. PNG, you need a high quality image. Now, why you need the pro version? Because you want a transparent background. I don't want the black in the background. I need just the street lining and the gun, right? Transparent background, it is a pro option. That's why you need pro for print on demand, right? Otherwise, I'd unselect that and I get the black background. I don't want it, right? So I'm gonna download that. Means so that PNG is downloading, perfect. I've got my t-shirt design ready to go. The next thing you're gonna need is an integration partner for Etsy, right? So for example, who's gonna do all your printing? Who's gonna do all your shipping, right? Amazing, we've got two printing partners I always talk about, Printful and Printify. We're gonna talk about Printify today. I need a login. Let's log in. Printify, like I said, um, up above in the description, you're gonna see a link. It's my Printify for beginners. Basically, what you're gonna see is you're gonna see a full integration end to end. They do your printing, they do your uh, products, they do everything. So you go into catalog, I wanna create a t-shirt, but you can just go to best sellers, right? Because t-shirts are always in best sellers, as you can see. Now you want a unisex t-shirt. I normally go for either the jersey short sleeve or the ultra cotton, it really doesn't matter. Maybe I'll go for the jersey short sleeve or the ultra cotton, I'll go for the ultra cotton on this, right? I select my t-shirt. Now what Printify does is it gives you the blank t-shirt, right? So you selected your t-shirt, gives you all the specs. Now you're gonna choose your part, where they are, your partner that prints this t-shirt, right? So here we go, this is what I look at, right? I am gonna focus for US because I do free shipping for the US for my t-shirts, but international, I've got specs in place for shipping. So underground threads, their prices start from 1067, they give me their shipping and their average production time. Now what I look at for is, I make sure that they do the colors that I want, I just want a black t-shirt, cool, they do black. I kind of look at their production time, I've been kind of using Swift a lot lately. <clears throat> They're fairly cheap. Uh, they still do good quality t-shirts and their production time is a lot quicker. So they are my go-to. They do black, which is great. And all you need to do is select start designing. But as you can see down here, you've got ones in Europe, Czech Republic, Germany. So for example, if you're a Europe focused Etsy store, you've got stores next door to you that can do all your shipping and give you a pretty good production time and shipping uh, uh, timeframes, right? So I'm gonna go with Swift POD. Basically how it works is Swift POD is a printing partner that I'm partnering up with for this t-shirt. When someone buys my t-shirt on Etsy, that order is sent to Printify, it's sent to that production partner, they do everything. They do the printing, the packaging, and the shipping. All I have to do is take the money. Simple, right? Add my design. So here we go. See, they see recommended size. Well, that's great because my print t my t-shirt specs are already bigger than that. 4,500 by 5,400, meaning it's gonna be a really, really clear image. So JPEG or PNG. PNG is better than JPEG. JPEG are lower quality. You can also do a front and a backside print. I'm just gonna focus on the front side, my device. Let's get my transparent PNG in there. And this is how it looks, guys, right? It's loading, it's doing some thinking. 
boom, all right, there it is. I wanna get rid of the white, I only want black. I can actually throw red in there as well, which could be an option for people if I want both colors. Let's do black and red, but otherwise, that's my T-shirt then and there. I'm gonna save my product now. This is with Printify, right? So I've loaded up to Printify. The other great thing is that you do all your products in here. So I'm gonna go into edit listing. So I've just jumped in, it's in my drafts. Let's go to edit listing. I can do all my editing in Printify, right? For once it's transferred into Etsy, and I'll show you how that works, then we can jump into Etsy and we can do the finishing touches. So here we go in Printify, my T-shirt's up. It's got two mock-ups, right? Is that enough? No, but I'll show you guys where we're gonna go for further mock-ups to make our Etsy uh, store look even, or our listing look even more, uh, I guess, powerful and uh, uh, better visually and attractive to the customer's eye or potential customers. Right, here we go, description. I'm gonna call this a product description. Let's go street uh, lightning t-shirt. Right, um, actually, learn how to spell first. Unisex, a key, right, unisex t-shirt. Um, and then you can kind of, you can put Etsy, you can keyword stuff. I don't like keyword stuffing in Etsy. I think it looks more professional. You've got your keywords for that, right? And your tags. So street lightning, um, I might say street lightning uh, gun inspired, gun inspired uh, design. Unisex t-shirt, that's, that's the most I would do. That is the most I would do, right? Um, I kind of want to keep some of this here, but what I would do is I would take out some of this jibber jabber that people don't really care about. That's okay. Let's bounce that down and I'll say something like uh, this street inspired design stems back from the 50s. Um, uh, mobster, let's get that capital, mobster disputes and gangster disagreements often led to street lightning. All right, I'm just making this up. Might not make sense, might not mean anything. Um, uh, if you love uh, street uh, inspired designs, uh, weapon, uh, say guns, uh, old school mobster themes, then this is the perfect T for you. And just a little bit extra, a perfect, a perfect um, gift for anyone that loves uh, street culture. Street culture, gangster themes. Let's add that G there. Gangster themes, street culture, gangster themes, and uh, with um, gun inspired. Um, designs. Um, then I'll say something like our production facility uh, let's say what, what was it, it was like two oh yeah, um, usually takes two to three two to three it's good to put this information in it gives the customer a quick uh, look into how your business operates uh, what the production is like how quick they're gonna get their product or t-shirt um, so you've kind of got a description and uh, maybe like a slightly more um, creative spin on the description. Um, our production facility usually takes two, three business days and swift shipping options. From, um, and swift shipping options. Actually not, and swift shipping. Cool, uh, this unisex culture is a classic quality construction. The shoulders are tapped for a good upper body fit. There are no side seams ensuring a clean broken flow. That gives you a bit of a description about the t-shirt. Um, some people tweak and change this. They'll make it a bit more um, catered to their uh, store and business. For example, they might say this uh, tee is made with the like highest quality cotton, etc. You get you can do whatever you want, guys. That's the beauty of your business. You can cater all of this to you. I'm just doing this quickly for the sake of the video. Um, all right, pricing. Pricing is an interesting one. So I always make t-shirts all the same price because I don't like it when people have cheaper costs or more expensive costs for different sizes. So someone who's 5XL doesn't want to be spending more money just because it's a bigger t-shirt, right? You're just going to essentially make less money with a 5XL because it takes more fabric and it's slightly more expensive, but that doesn't matter. Your profit is still going to be good. So whether or not you uh, 
put these for $29.99 or you put them down for $19.99. Just be mindful of shipping. So for me, if I was to do $19.99, I would look at this and be like, okay, so my profit is $10 for a small. Um, my shipping costs me on average four to six dollars, right? It's free shipping in the US, means I have to add four to six dollars to that. So my profit is going to be potentially three to four dollars after tax, probably like three dollars per t shirt after tax, right? Taxes and shipping, because I have free shipping in the US. With international shipping, that's great, that's all profit minus the taxes. So for a 5XL, I uh, might be making, Jesus, like two dollars, maybe less. It just depends, right? Um, on the taxes. Uh, so that's why I think $19.99 is just a little bit too cheap. Also, often you get the customers that actually want to spend more because they think it's a high quality product, high quality business. They trust your business. They're thinking, okay, he's got the production information. He's got really, really great listing photos and we'll get there. Good information and I like the design, right? So I think for me, um, I to be honest, I do $29.99, but everyone is different, right? Um, in the US, I think... Depending on, obviously on Amazon, t-shirts are like $10, $12, $15, very cheap. Um, but also that's every single punter um, making t-shirts. This is a business, right? Remember guys, this is a business. You need to take yourself seriously, right? Don't ever think that your uh, t-shirts aren't worth $30. They definitely are, especially if you put your hard work and time into them. You might be thinking, yeah, I made this t-shirt very quickly, but it's also a design that I kind of came up with quickly, guys. I'm not saying that this t-shirt's going to sell, but what I'm saying is if you put your time and effort into your business and into your designs, don't think your t-shirts are worth any less, right? It's a business, not pocket money, right? Could be You could see this as a side hustle, but see it as a professional side hustle. All right, let's scroll down. I've done my t-shirts. I've thought about my uh, margin, my profit, my shipping, my taxes. Right down here, I've already created all my uh, profiles, but the shipping profile, which I will have an Etsy tutorial coming up, and I'll walk you guys through how to start a business, list a business, create the business, storefront, everything in Etsy, setting up your shipping. That is coming, guys, to, to be coming or to be confirmed or coming soon. Um, but for this case, I've got a t-shirt shipping Profile, which is one to three business days um, for domestic, and then the international is for, um, it's got its own options depending on where you are. So I'm publishing that. So as you can see here, publishing. Now publishing means it's being integrated and sent to my Etsy store. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna jump over to Etsy and give it a few seconds because it takes time, but there we go. See, it's there, printed in the United States by Swift POD. Sorry guys, I had to have a sip of coffee, working hard here. All right, see in store. Now I can click that, or I can just jump over to my Etsy store, which I've got ready to go. Now this is one of my dummy Etsy stores, right? Look at that, one order, woo! Um, this is one of my test stores. Uh, this is a test store for, I guess, like street inspired designs, street culture, um, and this is where I kind of play with designs. I test cat t keywords, tags, because although you have all these great resources and tools for keywords and tags, uh, for example, I've got a, as you can see above, uh, a video on E-Rank, and E-Rank is an amazing free platform for Etsy, and basically you integrate your Etsy store to E-Rank, and you can look for keywords, you can look for competitors, you can look for um, optimizing your store with different ways, for example, spelling and things like that, so check out the link above. But otherwise, I like using Etsy itself, right? Especially when you can have free 40 listings, like I said, check the link before, below. My referral link will give you 40 free listings when you open your store. Let's go jump into listings. My my design should be over. And there it is, Street Lightning. Check that out, guys. So let's jump in to Street Lightning because I am not done with it, right? When you first integrate it from Printify, it's quite basic. As you can see, I've chosen two colors, four mock-ups. Not all the photos are used. All the listing photos need to be used. I need to add a video. I'll show you guys how to do that. And I need to tweak a few things here. Right, let's start with photos now how do i get mock-ups right next thing i'm going to show you guys is place it you need to log into this sucker right so place it is an amazing free and paid for platform for mock-ups now they don't just do mock-ups they do everything they do as you can see they do gaming uh animated logos they do freebies they do merch so you can do gaming t-shirt design streaming there will be a place a tutorial coming soon but today we're going to focus on mock-ups apparel t-shirts right boom so for me personally i started with mock-ups with people on them so i'll show you how it works 
Now let's think of, I want apparel, because I want more of a street theme here, right? I want, uh, no, that's okay, I'll, I'll leave it at that, right? All right, so I want apparel, I kind of want just like a street apparel, but what I learned was with, I like my uh, mock-ups, I started with people mock-ups, and I'll show you how it works, right? So let's use this guy for example, this is why I love um, place it. You jump in and it just adds so much professionalism and uh, power and creativity to your listings. It just gives them the extra. And, and to be honest, if you saw this, which one would you prefer, right? So you add your design, right? You can move it on the printing area or the mock-up area. I've put it in there, obviously, and I want black, right? Now, this has got place at place at place all over it because I'm using the free version currently, the pro version. You can use any, 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 any mock-up and it'll get rid of the play sets, but that's essentially, look how that looks, right? It looks like he's wearing the t-shirt, right? Let's go try find a free one so we don't have to have all these. Now, generally with free, it should say free. Let's have a look for a free one. Hmm. All right. Free. It's sorted by free. All right, here we go. So these are all free. They've got the bands free, so I can use these for free. Also, motorbikers. And the great thing about um, these designs is that you generally want to have a unisex uh, feel to it as well, right? So don't feel feel free to have, um, I guess, uh, women and men uh, photos. So this is just a, uh, I guess, t-shirt only mock-up. And I like these, to be fair. I like t-shirt only mock-ups. Um, that's just my style. A lot of people like having the models in them, for so to speak. But let's have a look at this with my design. Let's move this right to the top. Let's crop it. We're good. Let's go with our black. And look at that. Um, free download. A place it will go. Essentially, that's what it looks like. Right, guys? So... The playsets will go, <clears throat> once you get the pro version, the link below guys, once again, it supports me and it gives you uh, an amazing discount on the pro version. Pro version gives you access to everything, thousands and thousands of mock-ups. But let's look at a uh, free download on that one. Actually, let's go t-shirts only. Uh, these are these are, um, these are the mock-ups I like, and I like them on the ground generally, right? So I like them like kind of like a, like they're on a, blank space so hang on i want free uh, filters i need some free banners uh these all cost all right let's for the sake of going back and using free only let's use these they're free might as well use them for free all right background i do like that background let's do a free download all right yes commercial usage okay great all right then i'm also going to do a red because what's a bit of red? Ah. We'll go with that one, right? Give you the red option. Actually, I don't like that. It doesn't look very red. So that's my first mock-up done. And how that looks is that one thing you have to do is have a look at this, right? So Etsy gives you pixels, right? The Etsy listing photos have to be minimum 2,000 by 2,000. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create design. I'm going to go custom size. I'm going to go 2,000 by 2,000. Create new design. This is going to be my photos and my video, right? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to... Actually, I'm going to resize this. Right, another pro... Uh, the reason why you need pro is because you can resize any image... While you're here, right? Um, you can resize any of these designs while you're here without having to do a new design. Resize, I need this to change to pixels. I need to change this to 2000 by 2000 so that I can have this design like that, right? This is just for the sake of the video. All right, I'm gonna add a little GIF. Now this is, you. I'm gonna give you guys a little secret. You're thinking, well, I don't have a video of the T-shirt. I don't even have a video of the design, but, you can make a video out of just using a GIF. I'm gonna show you how easy that is. Let's find a little GIF that we can use. 
There we go. Not a sale shop. Here we go, look at this. Just by using a GIF, right? Um, whether that's the one you wanna use. Can I change that one? No, I can't. All right, I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna change that to five seconds. I don't make them anything longer than five seconds. Right, here we go. Download, now that's gonna see MP4 video. It's already giving me the video option. So I'm making the video for my listing. That's as easy as it is. That's a little trick tip. So when you guys are like, oh man, I don't have a video. I don't even have a video of anything. How can I make a video with Canva? Well, there you go. You can turn your design into a video, change the pixels to 2000 by 2000. Same with the photo listings. Throw in a GIF. This is gonna download. Fantastic. Now go back to here and see this video section. Bring your video or your listing to life. There we go. There's my little video, getting your videos ready. That's it. So what happens is in the algorithm is that your listing will generally be favored because of the video. You've got a video, Etsy loves it. Buyers love it, Etsy loves it. Right. Now we're gonna go back to here. We're gonna upload our mock-up. Let's go black. Free download, free download. Fantastic. Oh, I actually have to download it to my computer, it's right. Yeah, otherwise it gets sent to your email, but we're gonna download again. We're gonna download so we have a copy of it. Great, should be ready now, upload media. There it is, fantastic. So that's our mock-up. We let that load. Let that load, sorry guys, it takes a while, there we go. All right, so now we just stretch it out to the borders and that is our, one of our listing photos we can add. So we would keep, we can keep Etsy's or Printify's templates, which are fine, but this is how you zhuzh your listing up. You want this one here, boom, right? And it's gonna load and it's gonna be not have any problems. Now I'll show you why, how it would have a problem. So look at this and you tell me which one errors out. That one's loaded up just fine. This one's gonna tell you it's too small. There we go. Listings look best with photos at least 2,000. So get rid of that sucker. Bring this one up. It's gonna automatically change our thumbnail, and that's the first thing customers will see. No place it, right? It's blank. Let's blow that up. People can see that. It's a t-shirt, street lining. All right, let's keep looking for free mock-ups. I want at least 10 guys, I want at least 10. Now you can fast forward this section guys, don't worry, you don't have to sit here with me for the next couple minutes while I fill up all these uh, slots, but this is just how I kind of navigate through them and I would use uh, t-shirt only examples ideally if I could, but sometimes you have to kind of, uh, especially for the free version, biggest company chooses and you have to navigate through and get some listings or mock-ups that work for you. Um, now I do know that you should get some more free ones ideally that are laying down. All right, let's make this quicker. Um, t-shirt, t-shirt, t-shirt only, All right? Now let's have a look if any of these are free. Sort by, please, oh, give me free only. There we go, that's what I want. Okay, now we're in business. I uh, don't want a v-neck. Yep, that one's fine. Edit template, here we go. We're gonna get this through quickly now because we've found, oops, I don't wanna download a mock-up. All right, here we go. Nope, I don't want that. I want upload from device. Here he is. Move him up. So remember guys, you can skip this, but this is how I would add uh, that's a better red, I think. I think it gives it, people a better better um, idea of what it could look like. Let's keep that free download. Um, obviously, with the red color, it might look a bit different to the actual printing. The printing's quite a dark red. Um, sometimes the mock-ups are a little bit limiting with regards to colors, but most of them, this is the free version, to be fair, the pro version gives you a lot more colors. So just remember that um, you're gonna get a darker red, but for the sake of this video, we're gonna get better options, right? Let's print, let's get that sucker uploaded. My second mock-up, ready to go. While that's loading, let's look for another one. So we're going back. 
Yeah, let's look for our next one. All right, just a nice plain one as well. Once again, just filling them up, different styles, different colors. Let's load them in. And this just gives our, uh, I guess, our buyers, potential buyers, uh, the idea of how it looks on a t-shirt, right? How your design looks on a t-shirt, how it looks on a, a blank background. Um, the Printify templates or mock-ups, they're pretty good, um, but they're not amazing, right? So here we go. We just want to fill up our 10, 10 listings. You have to fill, guys, I'm just going to recommend from now, you have to fill up all 10. You really do. You just have to fill all 10 listings, and that's simply because... It gives you, uh, it, it, it just throws you in the algorithm, right? And Etsy loves it, right? Etsy is going to promote your items more. They're going to have you on a higher, obviously everything else plays a key role. For example, um, your uh, keywords and tags and things like that. But it also helps when you have mock-ups, when you've, when, you've, when you've done your, or have built your listings up to the most optimized uh, point on Etsy, then Etsy can do the rest for you, right? Um, Etsy's probably not going to be overly interested if you've got, one or two photos, you've got no videos, your descriptions aren't that great, um, you, like you haven't spent time on it, you're not working hard, they can see that you haven't put much effort into it. So Etsy wants to see that effort, right? And I don't blame them. Um, they're not here to muck around, we're not here to muck around, we're here building a business. So here we go, here's our third, here's our third mock-up, right? Like I said guys, I like just the t-shirts, that's just my style, um, although I am testing, I've got a store where I have um, t-shirts, uh, on models and I have made, made sales, but I per preference, my preference as a buyer as well, these are the kind of things I would buy. So just remember, it's just a preference. All right, let's get three more guys. We're getting there. We're getting there slowly but surely. These are quite good as well, the whole folded option. Let's see if we can get one that's a bit more uh, cash. Um, yeah, that's a cool option on the hanger. I'm all about that. Kind of looks cool. It looks like your t-shirt actually exists. It's printed. Um, that's a little trick tip as well. I do love the hanger, the hanger option as well. 100% love the hanger option. Get that in there. All right. Now I may, depending on, choose your own background. No, get rid of that. Depending on the, um, depending on the options of, um, that's not giving me a free option, which is a bit annoying. I could have sworn it said free. Maybe it didn't say free. Maybe I overlooked it. Oh yeah, maybe it's not free. All right, I gotta stay up here, guys. I gotta stay up here. I gotta continue uh, my journey. All right, let's just do a few different colors then, and which is fine. Let's fill up these listings. So how I would do here is to fill up those listings is essentially use the same template and just change the background, right? So for example, I'll get this guy up here. Let's crop that. Let's make it black. But let's just change the background to purple or a light, very soft pink. Let's download that free download. Now the other thing you would think about is once you've got your listings all done and dusted, or all ready to go, or your listing photos. After that, you would think about what's the best format in order to have them in, so I'll show you that briefly and shortly. All right, let's get this going. All right, let's download that sucker. He's ready to go. Once he's loaded, almost there, guys. Almost there, almost there. Here we go. He should be, no, where's my 2000 by 2000? Ah, uh, it is this one. Okay, we're going with this one. All right. Now what I'll do here is I'll leave that and I will just change the background for the sake of this and make that lime green. Another one to download. Another one to add and tweak in Canva. Now you might thinking this is a like a time consuming process. Um, unfortunately, place it downloads them in that format. Um, you can uh, keep them in that format with Etsy, but like it says, it says that you might um, have trouble with the, um, what color, oh yeah, very light green. You might have trouble with the, the quality of the listing, right? So you, um, 
will have a, I guess, it might not look as nice, it might not be a optimum format for Etsy as in they want a square image. When you go through Etsy as a customer, everything is in this, every listing photos are in the same size and format. So I guess for them, yours might be pixelated or might be not pixelated, but it just might not be that great quality. They don't want it. They prefer to use, the, you to vis, use this version. So just listen to them, right? They're giving you the, what they, they're giving, they're telling you what would look good, right? We'll do one more. And we'll do this in a red, right? Red, and we'll do the background white, right? So let's just do a plain white background. Let's download that sucker. This is our last one, guys. We're almost there. Um, time consuming process, but worth it, especially if you are taking your business and printing uh, or t-shirt business seriously. You really wanna give it your all. You wanna put your time and effort into that. And you also need to learn how this works, right? That's the key thing. You need to learn and understand how this works, right? How this process works, how people do it, how other businesses are doing it. And then you'll learn how to improve, how to tweak, how to become more efficient, how to become more, I guess, uh, uh, rehearsed in this process. And then these designs will, might, the first one might take you 30 minutes. This one's taking us forever because I'm going through the process with you guys and I'm walking through it. But I honestly, I can smash these very very quickly if I need to, especially when I've got the ideas ready in my head, ready to go. It's just a simple simplicity of just getting them up. All right, getting them designed, get all the mock-ups done. So this is how it would work. You'd uh, kind of throw those Printify, uh, I guess, mock-ups to the back. And what I would do is you could even delete those if you didn't want them, right? They're kind of cool. They're kind of also like a flat t-shirt, but you can delete them and add four of your own, right? I've done that in the past, but don't need to today. Let's move down. We've got our video in place. Street Lightning, see all this information is populated through, that's from Printify, but I need to change a few things. About this listing, you didn't create this. Another company or person did. You have to declare that you've got production assistance. That's why this pops up. A finished product, yes. Made to order, yes. So T-shirts, that's all populated through, great. Choose a, choose a scale, leave that blank. Primary color, black, and, and then the second one is obviously red. Now you don't have to fill that in, but it's good to have a primary color. Some of the, All this is optional. But it's good to pop it in. I think there's a streetwear option. Yes, there is. Great. Occasion. I'm going to say it's for a birthday, holiday, irrelevant. It's a short sleeve. Um, I'm going to leave that. It's a crew neck, but I will leave that out. Manual. Yep. Meaning that if you change it to automatic, it means that there will be an automatic renewal. Now, list, Etsy does cost 20 cents every four months. It's a renewal fee. 20 cents, right? Now, you might be thinking, this isn't free. Well, no, but it's 20 cents every four months guys and with my referral below you get 40 free listings which last you four months so you got 40 free listings to start anything after that will cost you 20 cents every four months so yes not free but then businesses aren't free guys you have to put something into it and if you can't afford 20 cents a listing for four months then you might have to jump onto one of those other channels that promise you uh big bucks from watching ads all day so good luck with that this is a business and a brand we're not here to muck around Right, this is all my information that's filtered through. Now you must choose a printing partner. I've chosen Swift for this. Some of these are, all these are already populated through, but Swift, right? So boom, that little flag goes away. You must add a partner because you said that you, you do not make this yourself, which you don't. You can't lie and say you did. People aren't stupid. Customers will be like, well, hang on a second. Are you saying that you do all the printing? And you might, you might do all the printing. Maybe you bought a t-shirt printer. Uh, for example, that prints all the, uh, does all the printing screen printing on your t-shirts, on your blank t-shirts. But for this, this is print on demand. Let's go with, uh, let's be honest here guys. So I'm gonna choose Swift, Swift's my printing partner. I'm gonna go down to section. I've got a few sections. I believe I've got a street section somewhere. Yes, street, excellent. Tags, now with this, tags, this is where it is important, just as important as your title, as your listing photos, as your video. I have to make this as relevant to Etsy as possible. Now there's a few ways you can do this. You can go to Etsy and you can go into Etsy in the search bar because it's like a search engine, right? And you can go uh, gun. Anything like gun, this is what people are looking for, right? All right, firearm. All right, here we go, firearms, firearm art, firearm gifts. What about um, street culture? So this is what you'd start to do. You start playing with keywords, see what people are searching for. So for me, I kind of have a fair idea of, um, this isn't like a really popular niche. So there might not be many keywords used, but I would use something like uh, firearm 
uh, t-shirt. Um, I would go firearm gift. I would go mobster gift, um, mobster t-shirt. Um, I might go uh, AK-47, right? Someone searches for AK-47 in Etsy. My t-shirt might come up. I might say, uh, I need to fill up 13 tags, guys. So this is the thing. Make sure you use all 13. Um, let's go with gun t-shirt. All right, um, gun gift. Um, this uh, uh, weapon t-shirt. Um, let's go. Um, what else would people might search for? I'm just thinking in regards to uh, Etsy and the keywords. How would people find my t-shirt? Um, street, street t-shirt, uh, street art t-shirt could be one. You just don't know street culture, All right? Um, oh, I could even go like military t-shirt. Um, some people might like that army t-shirt, right? Uh, I mean, if you're in the army and you like weapons and guns, which most likely a lot of Marines and Army Corps do, a uh, Marine t-shirt, you might like this t-shirt. Whether it's you're into mobster or the 1950s, um, actually I might go um, 1950s, 1950s t-shirt. Um, whether or not you're into mobsters or gang, uh, gang inspired designs, um, you might just like guns and the design of it and the street um, inspired aspect of it. Like I said, not condoning violence or anything like that. It's just literally for the sake of just an idea popped in my mind. I was like, I'll use that as my demo. This information is all populated through, as you can see from Printify, right? Um, all my levels, my inventory, my price per t-shirt. Down here, my t-shirts have been chosen. So as you can see, US domestic, it's free. Right, um, but with uh, international options, it costs right, and depending where they are, so free in the US, everywhere else, it's ten USD um, for all over the world. Just because with Printify, my production plan I've used, they gave me a price for most of the world, and that's the price for one item, and I've kind of built it up to ten dollars, which I think is very reasonable in the current climate. Let's publish that sucker, right? So. That's going to publish through. Don't worry about that. Fill out the required fields. Uh, it doesn't need to do that. There we go. My listing now is live. Let's view it on Etsy. This is how it looks on Etsy. It's populated into NZ currency because it's the current currency I'm listed on. But as you can see, Street Lightning Gun Spy Design Unisex T-shirt. Um, let's go down. It's got my description. This is how it looks on uh, this is my, re my review so far from a sticker. So great. The store's already... Uh, making sales, but I've got one review, which is great, five stars, but anyway, enough about that. Look, everything is below, right? This is my listing on Etsy. Right, so what did we what did we think about today and learn, right? So that's it, that's how you get a t-shirt and listing, and when you go to your dashboard, your listings are all there, you go to your dashboard, you've got your stats, like I said, I'll go through everything. Um, once we get to it, I'll get an Etsy tutorial in regards to opening up a store, doing all your storefronts, doing your branding, doing your creatives, everything. Um, with this, I just wanted you guys to see how you can build a business and start a business on Etsy and it costs you almost nothing. If you have literally $10 in your bank account, you can start an Etsy store. You don't even need $10. Like I said, 40 free listings below. Um, but the idea of this video was to inspire you and educate you around how easy it is to start a business in 2022 right i, I learned all this myself um, i've got a nine to five currently and i'm working towards um, finding financial freedom and building all my passive income streams so that i can leave my nine to five and just live the life i want right and i want you guys to do the same i learned this while i was working full time i spent hours in the morning i even found hours during the day at night i've got a baby i've got a newborn so don't act like you have to have eight to 12 hours a week. That's absolute bollocks. Like that time is amazing if you have it, but I literally just found time. So whether it's an hour or two a day, whether it's 30 minutes, just watching a tutorial or learning some information, doing some reading, it doesn't matter. Just work on it every day. Even if it's like I said, 10 minutes, half an hour, two hours, the more time you can, the better. I spent hours and hours testing and trying everything. I think print on demand was the third uh, thing I learned when I started the whole, you know, making money online and building a business and starting a business online, 
And now it's a, an amazing passive income stream for me, right? Um, multiple platforms. I've got a red bubble tutorial. Check that out on my channel. Remember, if you like this, like and subscribe. Show me some support. But like I said, guys, you need to start today. That's all I'm going to say. Start today. Do the research. Watch this tutorial. Please reach out. My email is in my YouTube account. I'm here to help. And that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it gave you an insight of how to do it, how you can do it. Um, and yeah, guys, get, get started, get building. I'd love to see some of your designs just to have a yarn about it, see what you guys are working on, your niches. Obviously, you know, some people keep that close to the chest because of comp the competitive nature, but I'm all about transparency, entrepreneurship. So join me on my journey and hopefully uh, we can build wealth and prosperity together. Max from Vivid Millions, over and out.